What is up you guys, this is All Day Any Day 1 on the PS4 and I'm going to be giving you another Red Dead Redemption 2 online video. And what this video I'm going to be giving you is I'm going to be showing you why awards are going to be important and or what they're important for. So we're going to go ahead and look in the progress. So when you go to your progress you're going to go to awards and you're going to notice all of these different categories for your awards. Some of the awards are going to only have one thing you need to do and a lot of them may not have one thing so I'm gonna go ahead and show you real quick like your horse it's most of this is just one different one thing except for this one so this one you just have to reach max maximum level bond level this technically is one thing you have to um, take you or get to purchase five unique horses and this one you just have to fall 10 meters I fell 9 meters unfortunately but 10 meters and you get the belt buckles so getting the belt buckles is nice. No one can really see it though, unfortunately. It would have been better if it was a, like an outfit or something or weapon skin. But what's nice about awards is you can reset them. These specific re awards that basically have one goal cannot be reset. But the ones that are under general, like the treasure map one, find treasure map, or I don't, I don't know if this one actually would count there are multiples I feel like I'm pretty sure this would technically count as a re yeah so it has reset award on the bottom the, the so on the bottom right corner if it says reset award it can be reset so you can keep finding the same treasures after you find the 100 pretty sure it's gonna be the same 100 maybe not but you're gonna be able to reset the award so you can find the treasures again as well as getting the XP for finding those treasures and whatnot and then when you do reset every time you reset you get 0 0.05 gold nuggets and it's not going to just be for this you have it for loots you have it for all all of your sharpshooter ones you have it for some hunting so i'm not sure which ones but almost all of them you can get it for but mainly all of the sharpshooter ones as well you can get the you can reset them as well except for these ones but the one that I think is going to be the easiest one to get is going to be the bow headshots because there's going to, you're going to have a lot of different opportunities of getting your bow headshots and you can actually you can just generally farm for it because it's only 100 kills it's not a thousand kills like all the other ones but uh, I mean it's not like the the rifle headshot one is really hard to get but it does it's going to take a lot longer than it will take you to get the headshot with the bows the bow itself is I think $127 or around there so if you don't have the money for that then you're just going to either have to rely on PvP or you're going to have to rely on the free roam event that allows you to um, that for bow headshots. I think the event would give you a bow, I would assume it would because there's always a lot of players in it, even low level players in it so I'm going to assume that free roam event gives you a bow. Now. This video isn't about me telling you what's the best award to farm for, to keep resetting, but since we are on that track, I am just going to let you guys know, I think for me, in my personal opinion, bow headshots is going to be the easiest one. 100 kills, you can farm it by either killing one random NPC, having the other witnesses call for the law, and then you can just use the law as your, I guess, quote unquote farm or headshot farm and what you can do if you do choose to go on that route you can really go in any major city as long as you can get on top of a roof where there's a ladder and you know the law has to use the ladder if you if they have to use the ladder then it's going to be easier like where i'm at i'm in blackwater right now so as you can see i'm right in between the two buildings right here and there's ladders on both sides of the building so you can go on this building over here or these buildings or you can go on those buildings over there and what's going to happen is the law, they're going to have to climb up the ladder, and once they're up the ladder, you're just going to get an easy headshot, loot your arrow back, and then you can collect your, um, you can collect whatever they had on them for the loot. That's, the only downside about this is your honor is going to go down, because my honor was just maxed out, but now it's almost halfway, just because I decided to, I, I decided to do this, but in the clip that I'm going to show you guys of me doing this little farm, I'm not using the building, I'm just running around killing the law, which is a lot more risky because they have they they do a lot of damage. I mean it 
it it was a little scary. I died. I almost died a lot, but I did end up dying at the end of the clip. But um, you can get a a decent amount of kills pretty quickly with this uh, with this I guess award farm bow headshot farm. But that's pretty much it with this video. If this helped you out at all, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know down in the comment section as well. I know I'm talking a lot. I just wanted to give this info out so that way you guys all know and hopefully it helps you guys out. This is all day any day one on the PS4. Have a good day, good night, and enjoy the rest of the clip. Leave me alone. Oh my God.